Schrodinger equation, we say Schrodinger's real equation. So, we will compare this with the classical wave equation and we will see how the wave function will be there, what can be the form of wave equation or wave. Okay? So, classically we have y equal to, y is the amplitude and this is equal to a into sin k x minus omega t. This is all cos sometimes. Uh, it depends on where you start. If you start from the center, then it will be sin. If you start from the its amplitude maximum, then it will be in cos. So the same thing we can do in terms of quantum mechanics. So here we write psi. Here also we will have some normalization constant that we will discuss shortly. And there will be sine cos or in quantum mechanics we will use a general term that is exponential of i k x. Just we uh, solve using that. So e raised to i theta, Euler's formula if you remember, this is nothing but cos theta plus i sin theta. So this is nothing but a combination of sin and cos. And this is used for just simplicity. Because when I have to get derivative, it is easier to get derivative of e to something. And it is easier, uh, this is also called as the Gaussian function. The Gaussian function is something uh, looks like this. It's called Gaussian function. So if we plot the graph, uh, we will not do this in this lecture. But if we plot like this, so what this tells us, okay, there is at the center there is some particle, we can physically represent. And when we operate some operator on this to find out the values of some physical parameters, physical variables, and if some part, uh, let's say I got x plus i y or uh, a plus i b, then what we do? Because this is physical, this is the real variable, and therefore we only take this part. Uh, so complex part is because of mathematical easiness, uh, some simplicity. Therefore we take this part. So, this type of wave function we have. Now, if we use Schrodinger's wave equation to this wave, we will have some uh, operators. Okay? Uh, we, we can use that repeatedly. The first operator is, okay, here, here I have not written the omega t because we were discussing about time independent. So, we can also write this. This will become time dependent. So, if I use total energy operator, if I operate on this, this will become A into E raised to x will be I will so because this is I, I will write psi as it is, and oh sorry, A into this part itself is psi. So, remaining part will be Kx minus 100. So, this is the eigenvalue of energy operator. And the operator is because this is in one dimensional, I will use minus i h cross tau and operate this on the side and find out the value. 